Today we will discuss about the remaining topic of the uh, epidemiology that is the epidemiological uh, triangle or epidemiological threat related to the subject community formation. So while focusing on the epidemiological triangle or threat, a little touch should be there related to the previous uh, class. In previous class we have discussed uh, in detail about the epidemiology, that, uh, what is epidemiology and uh, the explanation of the terminology related to the epidemiology. Then basically we explained uh, various uh, cases like the pandemic, endemic, let's suppose if a disease is already present in a community or in a society to be known as endemic but let's suppose if there is outbreak of the disease so it's to be known as epidemic if let's suppose the disease spread in the entire globe it covers the entire globe to be known as pandemic like initially the uh, COVID-19 was, was to be considered as it initially it was considered as the epidemic when it was restricted to one city of the uh, city you know, that is of the China so it was the epidemic condition but later on it covered the entire globe the entire universe and that was uh, to be known as uh, uh, the pandemic condition then basically we explained various uh, study of the epidemiology that is the descriptive and analytical most to be known as observational and the next one that is the interventional one which is to be known as the experimental uh, study so in case of the in case of the descriptive we basically formulate the hypothesis in the next case yes the hypothesis to be tested and the last one the hypothesis should be confirmed so the most important one is the analytical method we basically uh, different uh, case studies to be basically case, are, case studies should be used that is the cohort study which basically the forwarding study and that is totally yes of course uh, we should have to focus on the risk factor yes the disease yes yes the, we should have to we should have the group we are better to be free of the disease yes but we should have to focus on the risk factor which is basically responsible for the disease condition and we are in case of the case control study um, so in case of case control study, which is known as the backward study backward direction study and here basically we the individuals to be we, we have to make the group uh, so of the individuals the individual should have the disease and let's suppose yes a uh, data regarding the disease should be collected where the cohort study is to be known as prospective and the next one that is the case control study is to be known as retrospective analysis so cohort study uh, retro prospective study or uh, case control study retrospective analysis is too much important regarding the epidemiological triangle regarding the epidemiology and uh, because we study about the various infectious disease their spreading ability their distribution pattern in a society their direct of and direct and indirect uh, effect on the uh, community and uh, how to prevent all the parameters problem uh, health related problems and how to prolong the lifespan is too much important that was too much that's too much important we have discussed in too much detail in the previous lecture so Today we will discuss about the epidemiological triangle or epidemiological threat. Epidemiological triangle or epidemiological threat, this is one of the traditional models especially and to be considered as one of the interactions among the three things that is the agent, the which is to be related to the external one and the susceptible host and the environment. So epidemiological triangle or epidemiological threat, this is one of the traditional model which basically explain the interactions uh, uh, among the three different uh, age, the three different things that is the agent which is one of which is to be considered as the external the susceptible the host and the next one the favorable condition is to be known as the environment and one of the important thing which play a very important role in epidemiological triangle or trade it is the time so time is the very important factor and uh, yes of course we should have to keep in mind the time so because every disease condition every infectious problem they are spread in a respective uh, time and so the time is one of the important parameter so the epidemiological trade or the epidemiological triangle is one of the interaction uh, show one of the interaction among these three agents so, so use in epidemiological tool the trend is utilized to determine all factor external internal to the host making them more susceptible to the agent 
uh, and has been used for decades to determine specific factors. So basically, here we mostly focus on the causative agent, the agents that may be the external one and directly affect the host, that is the human, and have a direct correlation with the environment, that is the favorable uh, condition. And especially at a respective time where basically these is, these are occur. So component of the epidemiological triangle, as we have mentioned, that basically epidemiological triangle or epidemiological trend basically explain the three basic uh, uh, things that is the agent, the host, and the environment. And time is too much important. So agent agent within the epidemiological trait or triangle is microbes that cause the disease or to occur when a certain infectious disease the agent is an external microorganism that needs to be present in order to in order for the disease to occur so agents mostly these are the causative substances and they are basically responsible for the disease condition so in case of agent basically we have various microorganisms that is bacteria, uh, fungi, parasite, viruses and so many other uh, infectious are the causative agents. But one thing keep in mind, uh, initially uh, when uh, we were focusing especially on the epidemiological uh, triangle or in the epidemiological study, so from the agent or main objective was just only there is the microbe, there is the bacteria, fungi and viruses and whatsoever. Anyhow, with the passage of time, little modification was there because uh, certain infectious and non-infectious uh, diseases are there. So if infectious, if we talk for the infectious disease, so obviously infectious disease may be due to the microbes like bacteria, fungi, whatsoever. But if we talk for the non-infectious disease, so obviously certain other, other parameters, certain other substances are to be there. So obviously we should have like the agents maybe as the straws and the cigarette smoking and so many that may be the physical or the chemical so an uh, agent along with the microbe this may be a physical one or a chemical one so a lot of um, various agents are there which have a direct effect on the um, host and responsible for different disease condition so initially agent were just under the epidemiology this was just only explained in the form of the microbes anyhow uh, with the pace of time uh, with the pace of time uh, this uh, uh, various other uh, agent like this bistos, cigarette smoking, and I mean that's physical, both physical and chemical agents along with the microbes have also included in this parameter. Where host, host within the trade or the biological triangle refers to the human capable of developing disease. So obviously from what it's mean basically host is basically the human, the system where basically where the agents attack and the uh, have the capability just to produce the respective disease condition so obviously certain uh, obviously once the host system uh, I mean the human exposed toward uh, those particular agents which are causative in nature and which have the capability just to cause the respective problem so uh, by the exposure of the agents toward mm, uh, the agent and this basically depends upon the susceptibility of the host toward the agent so if greater if high the susceptibility rate of the host toward the agent so high will be the uh, disease condition so that's why host is one of the um, uh, host uh, human body system which basically exposed toward the agent and have the capability uh, for disease condition and various parameters are still there just like uh, uh, there is a sexual practice, hygiene, behavioral practice, a lot of these basically influence, uh, these are directly, these, these are various, um, of course, uh, these uh, uh, substances, uh, basically, these uh, behavioral uh, exposure of the, to the agent is influenced, yes, of course. This, is, this uh, exposure of the host toward the agent is basically influenced by different phenomena. There is the sexual practice, hygiene. If there is no proper hygiene, so obviously the host will be directly exposed toward the agent and the agent will directly affect the host system. And so obviously there will be a high uh, susceptibility rate. Let's suppose if there is no proper hygiene, so there will be a high susceptibility rate of the host toward the agent. Similarly, biological factors are there. 
uh, sexual uh, behavior of the person is there so a lot of parameters are there the next one environment so environment basically this is one of the simply we can explain that environment is basically one of the favorable condition of uh, okay where basically the agents have the capability just to easily grow and to easily spread within the community and have a direct effect on the host system so if the environment is a favorable one for the agent so obviously the agent will be easily grow in that environment and will easily attack on the host system and the host if the environment is too much a favorable one so obviously the host system will be too much uh, um, uh, you can say uh, susceptible one and obviously will, the disease will be easily uh, induced and will be easily produced and will be easily transmitted with that, within that particular community so interaction of the component so interaction of the component yes of course this is one of the important uh, uh, parameter regarding the epidemiological triangle so obviously uh, if the three substances are there there is the agent the host and the environment and still if the environment is too much favorable one for the disease condition so obviously the agent will be easily attacks on the host system and while depending upon the susceptibility rate is susceptibility rate is too much high so the disease condition will be easily uh, produced and will be spread in the community so interactions uh, among these components regarding the primary is too much important so imbalance toward the agent so let's suppose uh, when looking at the epidemiological uh, chitter uh, total that is like um, uh, you can say a diagrammatic presentation is already uh, mentioned here uh, okay so if there is a balance which among these substances I mean if there is a balance between the agent and the uh, host system so obviously there will be a less uh, uh, we can say there will be a less uh, a disease condition yes of course and there will be, uh, most of the people will be too much healthy and we can say that the environment will be also not a favorable one and there will be a proper hygiene and so on. so obviously if the balance is there uh, okay if there's a balance between the agent and host so obviously there will be less disease condition so if the imbalance toward the agent will you provide the tutor there are moment when there is an imbalance the cause may different scenario if the imbalance is toward the agent, it is considered as the agent having more of an ability to cause disease on men. Uh, for instance, if, if the uh, imbalance is toward the agent, so it means that agent which is the causative substances and have the ability to just to cause various uh, disease conditions. So if there is imbalance, okay, if the balance, I mean if the balance there is shifted toward the agent, so if there is imbalance toward the agent so obviously uh, in those circumstances the agent uh, the scenario will be that the agent have more capability just to cause the disease condition as mentioned in the diagram and uh, this is this can be shown by the zika virus as the disease has caused a pandemic so in case of zika virus which mostly uh, re related to the this was one of one of the infectious disease and it was directly related to the mosquito bite so mosquito mosquito is basically you we can say this is one of the agent for the zika virus so because uh, if there is an imbalance uh, regarding the agent so obviously uh, it means that more and more spreading of this virus in the community will be there and this is mostly related to the mosquito bite and one of the things that is mostly there's maybe in the form of the pandemic like initially it was spread uh, especially in the in, in in pandemic it was in pandemic form and the zika virus is transmitted by the mosquito and uh, mostly there are joint pain red eyes and especially muscle pain these are the common sign symptoms so let's suppose if a pregnant woman is uh, okay let's suppose if she exposed toward that one so one to keep in mind so while biting um, the pregnant woman by the mosquito so obviously the, the, the Zika virus will be transmitted to the pregnant woman and this have a direct drastic effect on the child and will have a direct effect on the child. So that's why Zika virus which is one of the, which is one of the infectious uh, virus and cause for a respective problem. So if there is a, a less favorable environment, if the environment is less favorable one, so obviously the mosquito 
will not easily spread the disease condition in the community. But if the environment is too much favorable one, and let's suppose if the if there is ambulance toward the agent, so it means that the agent will cause the agent will easily spread in the community and uh, will cause the respective problem. So let's suppose if rare cases are reported, so that in such circumstances. Uh, okay, a pandemic problem will be observed just like in case of Zika. Ambulance toward the host system. Host, we already mentioned this just like the human system, and it's too much important because without host, it's impossible just to uh, to spread a disease in a respective community. So another outcome that's shown in if the there is an imbalance of the primary predator total is the toward the host. The imbalance explain the the amount of ways a person is susceptible to a disease so let's suppose if the imbalance is toward the host so it means that the, the that the human is more susceptible to a disease condition and so in that circumstances a disease will be easily uh, produced within the within the host system will be easily transmitted so the the imbalance toward the host this depend upon the if the if there if there is imbalance Okay, so it this will show that the host is too much susceptible toward the agent, and if the the host is more susceptible toward the agent, so more and more disease will be produced, will be easily spread in the community, and uh, that's why again this will cause like a, a case that is to be known as pandemic. So one of the good example is the uh, the H1. N1 flu virus. So, one to keep in mind, H1N1 virus. This is one of the RNA virus, and this is responsible just for the flu influenza. This is influenza-like condition. So, one thing to keep in mind: vaccines are obviously, of course, available in the market, but this RNA virus is, and a proper mutation is there. So, due to this proper mutation, that's why the doctor on uh, the doctor on yearly basis they change the vaccine, and sometimes the, the respective vaccine have the capability. Just to protect the person from the disease condition, and this this is because of the, this this uh, the, the the main uh, for, okay the main objective uh, okay just to, to 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 protect the people this is this is the objective of the uh, doctors. But anyhow, this this uh, forced doctor to change the flu vaccine every year to try to decrease. So that's why why the doctor change why doctor change vaccine for the H1N1 flu. The doctor changed the vaccine for H1N1 on year basis in order to decrease the susceptibility there. So because toward the previous susceptibility is too, too much high. So if we not change, so obviously the susceptibility rate will be high. So the susceptibility rate will be high. So the disease will be too much easily spread in the community. The next one A, that is the ambulance toward the environment. So environment, I mentioned this, the environment here in case of epidemiology, it is the favorable climate for the for the disease for the agent. So obviously, if the environment is too much favorable one, so the agent will easily grow in that environment and will easily uh, cause the respective problem. Uh, okay, will be easily and the, obviously the problem will be easily transmitted toward the whole system. So obviously, here we little explain. The Zika virus only found in place with hot climate, such as South America. So, Zika virus is too much common. This uh, problem, this disease, is too much common in the South America because, in case of South America, the climate is too much uh, hot climate is there. So, in the hot climate, this virus have the capability just to easily grow and just to easily uh, spread. So that's why, in, in case of South America people the Zika virus problem will be too much high as compared to other so that, that's too much important that's again that is too much important and to be keep in mind so the next one uh, there is the uh, application uh, to chronic disease so initially basically the epidemiological triangle was used just to explain certain infectious disease how how they spread in the community, what is basically the causative agent, how to be controlled, how to monitor, and how to prevent the health related problem regarding these infectious uh, uh, problem, and then to prevent the lifespan. Anyhow, little modifications are there, and nowadays the epidemiological uh, study 
the epidemical triangle is most commonly used uh, also in case of the chronic disease condition which mostly for which last for more than three months or maybe a huge time period is required so one of the uh, application of the technology is related to the asthma so asthma again one of one to keep in mind this is one of the uh, obstruction of the chronic inflammatory disease obviously there should be obstruction and there will be uh, yes severe coughing wheezing chest tightness obviously there are clear, clear sign symptoms so in case of asthma if we focus so again agent should be there so we have the uh, like uh, different type of the uh, asthma like atopic asthma non atopic so for atopic asthma obviously there will be no clear uh, agent but for non atopic so asthma so certain agents are there that basically trigger the situation and like chronic mycoplasma so chronic mycoplasma uh, micro, chronic mycoplasma pneumonia and uh, chlamydia pneumonia these are basically the agents which basically trigger the situation for the non atopic asthma and the host again uh, that is the um, he yes, supports the human that have the that are capable just for developing the disease condition against various parameters are the, the, the genetic the genetic makeup of the person and sex and gender lung function let's suppose if a person have the already suffer from the lung problem so he will be more susceptible more sensitive toward the problems and the next one that is the environment environment again this is the favorable condition so depend upon the situation so let's suppose if the environment is such one where socioeconomic problems are there smoking is too much common so obviously the chances of asthma will be too much high and especially for the for the maternal if let's suppose if for the mother let's suppose if mothers is a chain smoker one so this have a direct effect on the newborn babies and obviously she he or she may be suffering from the uh, asthma like condition so if initially initially epidemiological triangle just explain the infectious disease and most commonly that is related to the um, that basically are related to certain microbes anyhow at present time certain chronic diseases are also to be uh, explained on the basis of epidemiological triangle so i think for today uh, this is sufficient and uh, inshallah the remaining we will discuss uh, in detail in the coming lecture so basically today what we have discussed that is we have discussed uh, in detail about the epidemiological triangle or epidemiological trait which is basically we show interactions among the three things that is the agent host and the environment so obviously the these uh, three substances are these three agents these three things are very important for the epidemiological study for the epidemiological triangles agent basically is like certain uh, causative agents microbes like bacteria virus fungi anyhow certain physical and chemical agents nowadays should be included here host this is just like the any the human system which is to be susceptible uh, to the agent and where basically the agent have the capability just to cause the disease condition and environment is basically the favorable condition uh, where the, the agents have the capabilities to grow and just to transmit easily and then we discuss about the total mechanism that let's suppose if there is a balance mechanism among the agent host so obviously there will be the chances of spreading of the disease condition or production of the disease so if this balance shift toward the another to or shift toward one of the side so obviously disease will be easily spread so the first in first one in first case if there's if, the, if there is ambulance uh, in case of the agent so obviously uh, agent will have more abilities to cause the disease condition as already mentioned uh, and show by diagram and if let's suppose if the ambulance toward the host so it means that the host is too much uh, susceptible one uh, toward the agent and uh, like we mentioned there is in case of the uh, there is in case of each one in one influenza where we have to change where the doctor tries just to change the change the vaccine on yearly basis on annual basis why because to decrease the susceptibility rate but still problem is there and uh, if the balance is shift toward the environment so it means the environment will be a curable one for the agent in such case the disease will be easy so for today this is uh, sufficient